who weren't with us yesterday, um, we, we had a very fortunate afternoon. We had some elephant and we found a, a beautiful owl, which is is not always seen on a on a drive. So it's nice to find these these little things. Or this was actually a giant eagle owl, so a big bird, which you don't often see, and especially during the day. James was getting a little bit a uh, um, little bit nervous, saying that uh, I'm finding everything, and he is, has not been able to find anything for you yet. But last night he said he was feeling very proud because he is the one that trained me. So. <laughs> So, good morning, Melissa, from all the way from Canada. So, Melissa has asked how long it has taken me to track um, or learn to track animals and also deci or decipher whether it's male or female tracks. So, Melissa, it, um, it, it takes quite some time. Um, I, I think to really understand the art of tracking um, does take a very long time and often it, you, people train for 10 15 years if you are in the bush constantly and you, you are fortunate enough to to experience it on a daily basis it becomes a little bit easier I would you know I've uh, I've been going to the bush from a very very young age so slowly but surely built up my interest and uh, I'd say after about two years or so doing it on a regular basis and I found that it became easier to identify tracks and um, not just not just the big uh, cats which after a while after six months you can pretty much uh, or even less than that you can identify the difference between those very easily but some of these smaller antelope or larger antelope those become a bit more difficult because it um, you know they, they do all look very similar so it's it's give and take. I suppose some people might learn a lot quicker than than, than others. Um, but I'd say to to become comfortable with with identifying tracks, maybe six months to a year, um, and then it all depends where you go from there and how much time you do spend in the bush following animals. I was very fortunate. I worked with a gentleman by the name of Judas, who was a who still is a tracker. Um, at Londolozi where I started my guiding and Judas and I became very very close friends we um, and and I learned so much from him his experience he's been in the in this industry or in this this uh, bush tracking industry for 30 years uh, and more so so from a very young age Judas learned to track and and his knowledge and experience was uh, is really fantastic and I learned so much from him So, Samson, you asked how I became a guide. Well, Samson, it, you know, it took me some time, and one of the reasons I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do after I finished school, but having having gone to um, um, to the bush and to Kruger National Park and to Botswana from a very young age, I built up this uh, this, this passion and love for being outdoors and and viewing wildlife, and. Um, I then did a qualification, a guiding qualification, which took me about a year to complete. You go through a lot of the basics, but uh, quite a bit of in-depth information about everything in nature, from the, the grass and the trees to stars and obviously everything in between. And, uh, and that just sparked the interest and the passion even more. And so since then, uh, well, I mean, I'd, I did that in 2004. And uh, and have been guiding permanently for almost eight years now, so it's a long time. But uh, that's it's kind of how I got into it and got started.